Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am painting some strawberries with some textured white florals that were inspired by Katie's canvases. I really love this painting because this painting looks so bright and colorful and vibrant, so I really loved it. Uh, first of all, I added some turquoise plus white background to make this pastelish kind of blue color, which I really love. And I let that dry so I could paint over it. Um, I added my textured florals and uh, the florals I really love. I think they're so unique in a completely different way. Um, each one of them looks completely different with the other, which I really love. And the center of the flower, sometimes I use pink, some of them I use red. Some of them I use a little bit of brown and pink to make a tan kind of color. And yeah, and I blended the center towards the petals uh, really well uh, to not have a blob of color in the middle of white. So blending is really important. And I did that for these flowers as you can see. So yeah. Some of my florals go under the others and some of them go on top of the others because I just like that and it looks much better and more um, realistic I guess. I added some white uh, around the parts that I wanted to paint the strawberries to just know the placements of the strawberries. And then I went over them with some uh, red paint and for the reflections of the strawberries I used some uh, white, um, so yeah, we want the shadows to be at the left part mostly because the sun is hitting the right part, but it depends on the type of strawberry, sometimes the str strawberry is on top of the other, so that part of the strawberry would get more light and the other wouldn't. This strawberry in particular, I am painting in a way that if you cut a strawberry in half, the strawberry would look like this. Now I'm doing all of the other strawberries. Blending here is really important. Uh, blending the whites with your red is really, really important and you don't want to get a blob of white in the middle of your painting. I also added some black or some sort of brown color to my um, to some of parts of the strawberries because I wanted the strawberries to look kind of more 3D. So I did that and it really looks good. I waited for some of my strawberries to dry so I could go over them and add some more um, light reflections and shadows so it would look more realistic. Now I'm adding the leaves with some light green paint which I love. Um, some of the leaves go over the flowers and some of them go under them. It's totally your basil and what you like if you want them to go over or under. I did them both and I really liked it. For some of the strawberry leaves I did a little bit of a darker color to show that some of them are having more shadow than the other or one of them is on top of the other so that was what I wanted it to look like and it did. And now I'm adding a branch which has a ton of leaves 
And I love that. And each leaf completely looks different with the other, which I really like. Um, because it's just different with the other and I love it. Now I'm adding a branch uh, with some leaves on it. These leaves look really wild and like wavy and I really love that because it's just super cute to have baby leaves, you know? So I redid another one of my florals and then I went ahead uh, to add the seeds. The seeds was really easy I believe, I just added some brown paint to the top of the strawberries in a motion ways so if the seeds are facing the left you need to put the other seeds more to the right side um, so I did that and then added some yellow color on top of the brown to make it look more 3d and also the seeds of a strawberry are yellow so yeah And this was the painting guys, what do you think about it? I really enjoyed this painting. If you do recreate this painting, please tag me under your posts. I'll be happy to see them. And yeah, please comment down below what your favorite flower and your favorite fruit is. I really love that. And I will share a response of what I think about that flower or fruit. So yeah. Please comment down below what you think about this painting and um, please like this post, it really helps. Uh, please subscribe to this channel and yeah, until next time, bye!